Good morning. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. And joining me again this morning is Alex from Taste the Local Difference. And today we're still talking about the produce pancakes. So, and we want to talk about a little bit of sauce on it, hey? Yes. Yeah, so all we whipped right. up, we've gotten all our favorite veggies. We wanted to have, you know, and, and I guess I didn't mention last time I make this produce um, pancake batter, put it in my fridge and just make them fresh whenever I want them. All right. So the other thing that you can make ahead of time or you can make right, um, you know, fresh when you warm these up is a sauce to pair with it. So we're here using one of my favorite products, which is Rosie's Relsa. Oh, yes. Are you familiar with Rosie's Relsa? I sure am, yes. Awesome. I like the, I like the um, mild. The mild. Well, she yeah. has a <laughs> lot of arrays of flavor. Yes. Um, so you can definitely substitute any of those for this. Mm -hmm. But it's a pretty hard recipe, so definitely follow along here. All right. So we've got about a fourth a cup of sour cream, mm -hmm. and we're going to do one spoonful of Rosie's Relsa. And uh, we're going to mix it. Uh -huh. and, and then the sauce is ready. Oh my gosh, yes. that's pretty difficult there, Alex. Yes, I know, I know that was a difficult one. So the idea is, is Rosie's Relsa is really easy to just take something kind of simple and turn yeah. it into something spectacular. You know, yeah. she does all the work for you. So, you know, really, I do it like this. You can also, you know, do any other types of sauces you want to do, but put a little dollop here, and I'm going to serve you up one right Ooh. now. Here's one for you. Thank Actually, you. we'll put it here, though, because it looks pretty. It does look and beautiful. And then we'll do another dollop here. Oh, my goodness. I, you know, potato pancake and sour oh, cream. Yes. This one's got a little, like, burnt edge, which I'm really excited oh, yeah. about. Uh, and that's it. So, like I said, we've got this great produce pancake, but it's really about using all those vegetables that you're getting from the farmer's market right now. We've got t tons of stuff at the farmer's market throughout everywhere in the UP. Um, but like I said, I was actually at the Houghton Farmer's Market when I got these yeah. uh, items. I'm actually going to be back there at the end of the month. Oh, if yes. anyone happens to be in the area, I'll be at the Houghton Farmer's Market on September 28th. It's a Tuesday. The market is held from 4 to 8 there. Uh, I'm sorry, 4 to 6. Okay. And I will be there doing some demonstrations on some food. So definitely come uh, get maybe a free sample as well. Do you have any uh, little sneak peek of what you're going to make? Um, we're going to be using some in, um, native uh, foods here. So like wild yeah. rice and squash and things that would traditionally be growing in Michigan. Awesome. All right. Well, should I give it a little taste? I think we could probably dive in. Okay. I didn't bring forks, so I think we just got to use hands. our hands. All right. Give it a try here. Now it's hot, so be careful oh, of that yeah. Ralsa. Mm -hmm. So good. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. All right. Now check on your forecast with meteorologist Tom Kippen. And thanks a lot. I hope everyone's been having a good holiday weekend. And for weather anytime, if you're on the go this holiday, including our 906 day today, download our free WJM and Local 3 app, also online at upmatters.com. And if there is any rain, you can track the rain on our interactive radar at the bottom of our weather page at upmatters.com. And if social media is your thing, we're there as well. Check us out at WJMN TV and also our 906 Weather Watchers page.